Hi everyone, it's Donna here with Donna's Creative Corner and I'm back again to share some mixed media canvases that I've done recently. Um, <clears throat> the first one, I've been playing around with doing um, shapes, um, figural shapes instead of my mixed media girls that I've been doing a lot of. Um, I wanted to experiment with something else and I looked through the internet for different silhouettes. I did a search on silhouettes to come up with different shapes and one of them was a fleur-de-lis and how I created this is similar to how I created the butterflies. I've got a tutorial on the um, butterflies that I did. Um, took the image um, in Microsoft Word, sized it to whatever size I would want for my canvas, printed it out, cut it out, then I use this to trace onto some medium weight chipboard and then I cut the shape out of the chipboard and that's what I decorated um, here. Um, I have a big bag of miscellaneous chains that I've been um, trying to use up and this one has a, around the edge of the fleur-de-lis is just various different um, all different chains, different types of chain. So I got glued all those on. Um, first of course I did the, the background, <coughs> excuse me, the background with um, the mixed media techniques with um, modeling paste and stencils and sprays um, and um, tissue paper. The very back layer is uh, Tim Holtz um, tissue, tissue wrap. Um, and then um, once I had all the chain uh, glued down and dried, I just put a few um, buttons and embellishments around um, inside the fleur-de-lis and then I thought, hmm, what do I do now? Because some of these areas are way too small to put, you know, the, the earrings and jewelry and, and stuff that I had, so I, I, I tried something different. I filled in all of the areas around the embellishments that are on there with glossy accents and then poured uh, microbeads <clears throat> onto it, pushed it down just to, to get it to, to adhere. And all of these areas I did the same thing. And then once it dried, it came out very, very nice. I, I, I really like it. Man, I had those little beads jump everywhere and I had beads everywhere. I tried to contain them in a box but they just bounce and they go all over the place. But it was it was worth it I think. Um, so that's the first one. Um, the next one, <laughs> there's kind of a story with this one. I wanted to do a cross. Um, Angela Holt had done a mixed media cross a while ago, a, a tutorial, and I wanted to give it a try. Uh, same thing, I cut the cross out of um, chipboard and decorated it with um, buttons and bling and, and jewelry pieces and acrylic pieces. Um, There's a lot of, of mixed media with a pretty vintage brooch piece in the middle there. You can see that very, very shiny. Um, the background Initially, the background was, I, I, I kind of did the same design with it, with the, the, the rays coming out, but I, my thought was to make it kind of a gold, gold, brown background, and the way it came out, it was, it was almost orange, and I didn't like it. I don't know why I adhered the cross down anyway, because I didn't like the background, but I did. And the more I looked at it, it, it sat up on my, my craft table for a while. And the more I looked at it, the more I hated it. So I said, okay, I can't leave it like that. So what I did, I went and painted. It was kind of hard to do. I had to go behind all of the, the lace and everything. But I painted the whole thing black again, uh, black. Um, and then put um, the rays on with um, some kind of glitter, glitter paint. I can't remember... I put it away so I can't remember who makes it, but it's it's in the craft area at the craft store. Glitter paint, um, and I like it much better, much better than I, I'm gonna have to see if I can find a picture of what it looked like before and pop it in here. Cause I 
don't know why I glued the, the cross down when I wasn't really happy with the background and the more I looked at it the more unhappy the more unhappy I got with it so so this is my second one um, with um, a shape and actually both of these are for sale on eBay I'll put a link down below to um, to those auctions um, and I hope you like it I, I love the cross part the cross came out really really pretty and now that I have it black I, I love this part too so um, I hope you like it and find some inspiration if you have any questions about anything I did um, on any of these let me know I'd be happy to, to do my best to answer any questions and that's it for now bye have a good day